Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm Miss Lisa, and this is my YouTube channel where we talk about everything I want to, science and math. And what we're doing today is Algebra 1 using our TI-84 calculator for a couple of things. We're going to use it to check our work and also to figure out um, domain range kind of stuff, okay? So this is our equation that we had, and we got that for an answer. And we want to we want to graph it, and we want to see if it graphs. And these are the same thing. We know we did it right. And then we also want to look and see if there are things where that we need to say that we can't have something equal to x because that would make it dividing by zero. So first of all, we turn in our calculator right here. We go to y equals. Do you see all my plot ones on? I need to turn that off or we're gonna get weird little dots. Okay, so I turn that off. I go down and I'm gonna put in these equations. So first I'm gonna put in four, okay. Uh, do you see how this is a fraction? We either need to put parentheses around that or else the, your calculator will have a hard time deciding what's in the numerator and de denominator. So put parentheses around everything if you don't have the shortcut menu. Or we need to use the shortcut menu. So I need to delete what I have there. I need to clear that out. And I'm going to do y, alpha y equals and get numerator denominator. And now I don't have to put in the parentheses. I can do 4x squared plus 9x plus two. That's my numerator. I go down to the denominator and do x squared minus four. Okay, now I wanna see if that's the same thing as my answer. Four, I think that's what I got here. Do, do you simplify it? I think I do, I think that's the answer. So I'm gonna put it in. If it's the same answer, it should be the same graph. So this, I'm going to do alpha y equals again to get my numerator and denominator. If not, put it in parentheses. Uh, 4x plus 1. I go down, and I'm going to put x minus 2. And I know my window's messed up because I know that's what I was doing. I was doing weird last time. So I'm going to go to zoom standard number 6. And hopefully I'll get a good graph. There it is. Now, if it's the same thing, it should turn red. Ta-da! So that's how I use my calculator to check and see if I simplified it right. If I did, they'll make the same graph. Now, what I'm looking for is, remember, when you have something like this, there's like this plus that shows where there's no defined values. Well, we can find that by going for the second of graph, where it's table, and we can see this is a list, and we can scroll, and we can find out where values that you can't have. Now, do you see how mine is? my table is only changing by 0.10, and I don't have much right here, and it might take me a long time to scroll and find a place where it's not defined. See where it says error? That means that x cannot equal 2. Now, I might would change this to a better setting. Do you see where it says table set? Table set. And I think I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to change my table start. I'm going to start it at negative 5. And I'm going to have it change by 1. Now, I'm going to go back to the table. And I'm going to look for something that's an error. And there it is. So that's what I can't have. And notice I can't have negative 2 and I can't have positive 2. So no 2s. And if we look here, it says you can't have 2 and negative 2. All right, so that's really useful and fun. We're doing fancy math, aren't we? That's always fun. Like, share, subscribe. Math is great.